guys and welcome back to the Bristol Prepper channel. Um, first of all I just want to say uh, uh, apology, I haven't uploaded in a week, I've had my stitches out of my hand and some other shit going on, so, but I apologise for that. So let's get into it, uh, today we're doing a video, I'm going to do a video on how to uh, choose a survival knife and help you along the way on choosing your survival knife. So uh, first of all we want to, uh, we've established obviously by coming to this video you've established that you want a survival knife. Um, so you know what you're using it for. Um, secondly, we look at your budget and what sort of budget range you're looking at. Um, if you've uh, just these are some examples I just brought to the table. But um, if you're interested in any of these knives, I have got reviews on all of them on my channel. So if you want to check that out. Um, but now, so if you've got the lower, lower end of the scale, we got these um, less expensive. So we're ranging from like the uh, beneath ten pound range. Um, up to like say the 50 range and, and more in the smaller knife category. Um, you can get bigger knives for this price, but it's just quite boring. I can say what we've brought to the table. Um, but the, the the more knife good, everybody loves a more knife, and they're great for bushcraft uh, and that's starting off, or or even people that do it a long time, like the more black or bushcraft black, whatever it's called. This one, um, even people that have been doing it a long time, it's uh, still a great, great knife. Uh, Got a real good scanning grind made up some um, very good high carbon steel. Uh, even though it is a rat tail tang, half tang, it's still very strong construction. You can still bat on small bits of wood with it. But we're talking about survival knife. So if you want a knife that's personally, I want a knife that's full tank construction, uh, can withstand uh, a lot of beating, um, doesn't need to, can hold a head edge really well for a long period of time when it be sharpening it. Um, so uh, for that, I'd be looking at something full tang. And what I've got here is this smaller knife that is full tang. This is the Outridge nine inch hunting knife. Um, I use it for um, if I know I'm going out and because it's stainless steel, if I go out, if I know it's going to be a say a wetter day and I'm not worried about beating up a knife, this is the knife I take because it's cheap. It think cost me seven pound or eight pound, nine pound, something like that. Not in super inexpensive, but so I'll take this out, not worry about bashing it around and. Stainless steel, like I said, it's not going to rust uh, anytime soon. Um, so that's a good option, but obviously it might be a bit small uh, for you. If you if some people like the smaller size, um, like I said, from the four inch to the five, six inch range. Some people like that sort of length. Uh, you can bat on small bits of wood with it, but on anything getting bigger, it just makes it impossible because obviously it hasn't got the length there and the width of the blade to get behind it. Then if you want something bigger and you want the longer length, the K-Bar might be something you want to look at. Now this is my choice of survival knife. If I was uh, in a survival situation, I could only have one knife, uh, this is the knife I'd take. Uh, baton in wood, it, this makes it look easy. It goes for it like butter. Um, an incredible, credible little bit of kit. Uh, great thickness on the blade. Uh, it's got like a saber type grind, which makes it great for, uh, like I said, chopping. It, um, that's one in wood, it just does it absolutely amazingly. Uh, real easy, keeps an edge because this is the uh, Covan steel, I think it is 1095 Covan steel, so it holds an edge real good, easy to resharpen. Um, but this is my choice, this is a great survival knife. Like I said, got the length there, not too long, so it's unwieldy, uh, but it's still got the length there, so I can uh, chop wood if I need to, or any small pieces on next to the campfire. <clears throat> But yeah, so for a survival knife, that's the knife I choose. Um, and for general survival knives, obviously the K bar do the original, uh, the original K bar utility knife, which is the knife the uh, the U.S. Marines and that adopted and that. Uh, quite an old style knife, like just like the original survival knife. Uh, but that great knife is still amazing to this day, even though it's uh, been widely copied, uh, like the Leatherman uh, Cold Steel. Uh, Leather neck. I got this one here, and this is copied uh, the uh, K bar utility knife. Um, but yeah, so when you're choosing a survival knife, so what you want to keep in your mind, you want to know uh, what sort of length, and you don't. Uh, I if you can, I'd go to somewhere and hold them because uh, the lengths don't really come to you until you feel it. So you don't feel the balance, you don't feel the length. Uh, you really want to hold it in your hand when you're choosing the knife, uh, if possible. Obviously, I know sometimes it's not possible at all. But if it is possible, great, be great if you could hold it and that. Um, so for the under, like say from twenty dollars uh, or twenty pounds, a more is good. 
because uh, the fishing the more clipper and that uh, more companion there uh, is uh, stainless steel, so it ain't gonna rust that easy. Uh, water can support the bottom for the overflow hole at the bottom. Um, so you don't worry about breaking it or anything like that or rusting. So that's good for a survival situation, especially because it's only under 20 pounds. So in that sort of range, that's a great enough to choose. Or if you want something with this full tank instruction, uh, but just hasn't got the well, the greater name that the Mora has, uh, the Elk Ridge is good. They do a big wide range uh, of budget blades. Um, but like I said, for a budget survival knife, that might be the one you choose. And you don't might, might not want a big, massive, 7-inch, 8-inch hunt, um, hunting knife type survival knife. So uh, if you don't want that, then obviously this would be a great smaller knife. You can get um, all these sheaves here. They've got um, on the more uh, Bushcraft Black or more Ultimate Survival Black, whatever the shit it's called. Uh, the sheath does come with obviously like a Thersium rod and a Diamond sh uh, Sharpener on there. So uh, this might be something you want to consider. You might think, oh, I only want a case, a knife if it's got all the attachments like the Thersium rod and the Diamond Sharpener on them. Or whatever. I know the Bear Girls knife that comes with a uh, sharpener in it and a ferrocene rod. So some people like that. Some people don't like carrying it next to them. They like carrying a separate one, a larger one, separate. Uh, it's just all down to personal preference with that sort of thing. But um, no, for the for the larger knife, um, I choose the uh, K bar. It's definitely the knife like the knife I'd have in a survival situation. Uh, great for it. You can do the smaller tasks and the bigger tasks. That's why if I was if I'm helping you, it's what I'm doing. I I, I push you more to the not large knife but medium range because you can do the large use smaller tasks and you can also do the bigger tasks as well like cutting chopping and all the rest of it but yeah i hope i hope i helped you guys a little bit uh, at least so uh if you have any questions or anything leave in comments beneath uh as you all guys know should already know we've got a uh, competition running so when we hit 50 subscribers i'll do the giveaway and uh a couple of days later after i've hit 50 i'll do the giveaway and i'll video it and show you guys what's going on and uh, it's for a uh, the a survival team I've made myself, put together myself, and I'll send it out to you guys uh, as soon as uh, we've hit 50. So, and I'll do a video about that in late, later on. I'll do a video about uh, how you can get involved in the competition and all the rest of it. So, anyway, guys, as always, guys, stay prepared. I'll see you guys another day, another way.